Are you trying to use a magic wand to select the background image in Illustrator and it just doesn't work? That's right. The magic wand tool in Adobe Illustrator doesn't work on raster images. How about this? Hey guys, it's Jen from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be talking about the Magic Wand tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you are using Photoshop, you might realize that the Magic Wand tool in Photoshop doesn't work exactly the same as the one in Adobe Illustrator. I will also talk about the difference between the Magic Wand in Photoshop and Illustrator so that you don't get confused. If that sounds interesting to you or if you want to learn more about it, please keep watching this video. The magic wand tool in Adobe Illustrator selects objects with the same attributes. However, you might say that these shapes and colors they are totally different. So how are they in the same attributes? Let's find out. All right, so you can find the magic wand tool from the toolbar, or you can activate it using the keyboard shortcut Y. So now it's already activated and I already use it to select objects. It's quite random, right? Okay, let's see the magic. So double click on the magic wand to open the magic wand options. And as you see, here's why it selects object with different colors because the tolerance is set to a higher level. So if you want to select object with absolute same few color, you do need to change the tolerance to zero so that you don't tolerate it to select any other color except for the one color that you click on. So in this case, it select these two colors. And then if you want to select colors in the same, let's say in the same color range or color tones, you can increase the tolerance a little bit. So let's say that I want to select these color tones. Maybe you can try it with a lower level first, five. All right, so this color is not in the range yet. Then you can increase the tolerance, let's say 10 and select again. Now this color is in the range. So yeah, that's how it works. Same thing, you can try it with other colors. This color should be in the range, but why is it not selected? If you see here, the opacity option is also checked. How about if I uncheck that and select again, it's selected. And why is that? Let's go back to the selection tool using the keyboard shortcut V. If I select this object, you can see that the opacity is 50% since I already changed it earlier. So that's why if I choose the opacity here, tolerance 5%, it's not going to select the object since this object is over 5%, opacity is 50%. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, so besides changing the fill color opacity, you can also play with the stroke color, stroke weight, and then adjust the tolerance based on the object that you want to select. The default tolerance for fill color and fill stroke are 32. Um, so usually you do need to open the magic wand options to adjust that if you want to select exactly the same color as the object that you want to select. This works really similar to the select same option. So you can use it to select all of the same color and, uh, and make edit to your artwork. So in this case, let's say I want to change all these color to another color. I can just quickly select all and then um, change it to a new color. Pretty convenient. Yeah, however, in Photoshop, if you use a magic wand tool, you click on any object, uh, click on the image, it's going to select the, let's say the raster image. So let's say I want to remove the background of this. I just click on the background and the tolerance is set to 20. If I increase it a little bit, maybe 25, click again, it selects a little bit more area. Otherwise, I can go to um, add to selection and then click here also to select more areas. And if I want to delete the background, simply just hit the delete key. Yeah, usually you do have to mask and uh, clean up the edges. But anyways, it's not a Photoshop tutorial. I just want to show you the difference. So let's go back to Illustrator. Yeah, so the biggest difference between the magic wand tool in Photoshop and Illustrator is that um, in Illustrator, the magic wand selects vectors and in Photoshop, the magic wand selects raster and pixels. If that sounds confusing, I know it can be a little bit confusing about the tolerance that you need to set. If you want to learn more about the magic wand tool in Adobe Illustrator, how to use it, I do have a blog where you can follow the step-by-step -step on how to use the magic wand tool and I do explain the options a little bit more in details. And if you want to learn more about Adobe Illustrator and become a graphic designer, I do have a course where you can learn everything about Illustrator basics from workflow to basics, uh, typography, and to more advanced skills like 
infographics and logo design and obviously at the end of the course i do have some tips for uh, getting a job and so on okay i hope you already got the difference between the magic wand in illustrator and photoshop and if you find this video helpful as always don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials if you want to learn more about adobe illustrator basic tools i do have a beginner's course if you are interested about learning more you can find the link to the course in the description below